So when could Shiba Inu rise another 1,100%? So I saw Shiba Inu go up over a thousand percent in October of 2021. I was there every day living it. It was absolutely insanity. And it was one of the coolest experience I've ever had. By the way, I apologize for the weird kind of lighting effect I've going on with my camera here. Uh, I'm recording on my MacBook and I'm in my truck. Obviously my son is practicing at a lacrosse tournament thing. And I've got this weird lighting thing. It looks like I have a halo. So I apologize for that, but it's kind of, kind of cool looking. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, it tracks the lighting. It's kind of wild. Anyway, so, hey, you get Austin with a halo today. So, when could SHIB, Shiba Inu, rise another 1,000 plus percent? It actually is a great question. And I'm going to cut to the chase. It's not something that's going to happen tomorrow. It's not something that's going to you know happen in the next you know month or two. This is a multi-year scenario. But is there a possibility of this happening? Yes. Actually, when Shiba Inu went up 1,000%, in October of 21, we were at five zeros and we went to our all time high of four zeros, eight, seven, I think it was, it was, is what it was. So we, this has happened before. Is there a possibility that it could happen now? Yes. There's things that have to happen, right? The overall crypto market has got to come back massively right now. The crypto market itself, you'll see is at one, one trillion, 120 billion. You know, you got Bitcoin at 26,000, Ethereum at 1800. We're going to have to get Bitcoin to go back up to 60, 70, 80,000. Is that possibility? Yes. I'm going to remind you that we have a bit Bitcoin having event coming up in April and May of uh, 24. So kind of when that happens, we always get major bull runs around that, that event. Um, and so to talk about kind of when we could go up uh, over a thousand plus percent, uh, it could start as as soon as 25, which is basically a year and a half out. I think we'll see it go back up. You know, we'll go back. We'll see SHIB go back up into the four zeros uh, and continue to grow up and then get close to its all time high, maybe in 2024. But in 25, we could absolutely erase another zero and move over where we have three zeros. Um, you know, and a number, right? So that's a possibility. So this is talking about back in 21, where it did climb a thousand percent in 30 days. Again, I was there. It was absolutely insanity uh, from a cool standpoint. It was crazy how it, it just kept going and going and going and going. And you were like, every day you were like, when's this going to end? When are we going to get a pullback? And we didn't get a pullback until after the rally was done, obviously in October of, of that scenario. Okay. So it looks like we could, again, uh, be trading into that three zero range, uh, you know, uh, starting to kind of move up into the four, but, you know, back into the four high fours, all time high in 25. And we, and Changely is talking about, you know, maybe uh, three zeros by 29. I think it could happen faster than that. I think you've got to have, you've got to realize that you've got kind of global adoption that needs to, that needs to take place with crypto. Um, we got to have a massive token supply reduction. I think that's one thing that a lot of these articles and these reporters and these things, not that it's bad, but they don't take that into consideration. They don't take into consideration the fact that Shibarium is going to reduce the supply of Shiba Inu. And there's pretty reasonable forecasts out there where we could see 50 to 100 trillion uh, Shib, uh, you know, Shib, uh, Shib, Shiba Inu tokens reduced on an annual basis on a one on an on a yearly basis and so i think that's one thing that that you don't see a lot of consideration being given in some of these articles that are out there talking about their, these different price scenarios and that's and that's shibarium is going to is going to burn shiba inu tokens and it's just a matter of how much and, and how long now, this is a multi-year play right these these burns have to add up over time and we've got a massive supply out there. Everybody knows that we do. But if we're burning 50 trillion or more a year and and we're coupling that with crypto adoption where we see crypto itself, where we see the market capitalization of crypto like this number right here, where we see, you know, crypto market capitalization going back up to four, five, six, seven plus trillion, you know, what we, we topped out at like 2.7, 2.8 trillion, we can get up to six, seven plus trillion, then, you know, all things are possible. And, and bottom line, kind of final thought is, you know, we've got massive crypto adoption coming. Regulation will come, which will un unlock the um, the gates to trillions and trillions of institutional money out there, like in the Fidelities and the Charles Schwab's and the JP Morgan's and all those big, big investment houses out there that want to be offering, 
you know, crypto to their clients as a, as a, as a, you know, as an investment vehicle. And so there's a lot of, there's trillions of dollars of money tied up on that side of the street that will not come into crypto until it has been, you know, effectively regulated and become more mainstream and things of that nature. And Shiba Inu is poised to take advantage of that as the top community meme token and will continue to evolve and grow and, you know, become even more than what it is today. Again, these are just my, uh, these are just my thoughts, but I wanted to just say, Hey, is that a possibility? Could SHIB go up another thousand plus percent? Absolutely. Things have to happen just like they did back in October of 21, but it is a possibility. We have been there and we have done that before. All right. I'll see you. I'm going to go play with the halo around my head. This is kind of cool. All right. See you.